All right, folks, we are back in roughly the same position we were before. We've moved up all of our soldiers. We still have control of the Berserker, and things are going well. As we were talking about last time, the alcohol is starting to kick in. The Lemon Arita from Bud Light is kicking in, and oh boy, does it feel good. Uh, <laughs> I said I was going to talk a little bit about uh, getting drunk and, and consuming alcohol, and that I'm going to stick to my word. I'm going to keep my promises. I, I do like to keep my promises. I like to do what I'm going to say because my word is my bond. I believe I am the first person to ever say that. I'm kidding. It was it was uh, it was Michelle Obama. Uh, but but yeah, it, it's it's this weird it's this weird thing. I I don't I don't drink excessively. I'm I'm a very I'm a very conservative drinker I, I don't i don't drink to get drunk i've never blacked out i have been i have been drunk before but i've never i've never gone overboard with it and that is something that i do pride myself on having never gone overboard with with, with alcohol but I, I do it on purpose i i purposely do not like to go overboard with alcohol but i do i do enjoy the the sort of the the looseness feeling of just having a couple of beers or whatever or in in this case the uh cocktail in a can and because i haven't been very legitimately tipsy i hate the word t tipsy is the most unmanly word that exists that you can associate with drinking and I, I absolutely can't stand saying that I'm tipsy because it makes like I'm a little tipsy, guys. It's starting to get a little buzzed up. I absolutely hate it. But <laughs> but getting to that point, there's usually only good feelings associated with that that light buzz that that you can feel. Uh, and and for anybody that hasn't, uh, oh shit! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> the mind control was lost. I did. I thought that was permanent. Um, it's a good thing Frederick Blackjack Carter is here, but unfortunately, maybe he's have he's he's got a little flask with him because he missed a point blank shot against the Berserker. So, yeah, I I mean we can take it again. <laughs> Buster Doom Guy Thompson is getting beat the fuck up today. But there we go. We got the Berserker again. We're just going to take this thing with us as long as we can. <laughs> so, right. For anybody that's never consumed alcohol before, if, if you're too young to do it or if, if you just don't drink, just know that I'm not uh, over here sitting trying to trying to persuade you to, to start drinking or, or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just telling you my experiences with alcohol and why I do enjoy partaking in an alcoholic beverage from time to time. And I'm trying very hard to set up a good ambush for this next encounter because... If, if I do set up a good ambush, then this next encounter is going to be very easy. But if I don't, the next encounter is going to be a bit difficult. And because I know the layout of the mission, and I, I've done it so many times, I can be a bit more methodical about things. Uh, my experience is showing, and oh boy, it's so big. So yeah, th th there's, I, I don't think most people will ever say that they've had a bad experience being tipsy. People have had bad experiences getting drunk. You get in drunk fights, and you you, you completely change. He's a different person when he drinks, uh, you know, all, all sorts of things like that. But when you're just a little bit tipsy, you're just having a little bit more fun than you were before. And incidentally, the last time I was in in and the last time I was in this a sort of a sort of really loose state of being. You know what? I'm, I'm getting tired of inching around. I'm just going to bull charge the Berserker forward to find the enemies. Let's do it. Just running through. Blech. There we go. Neck. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> we got the Gatekeeper, a bunch of Vipers, and a bunch of Archon. 
Ooh, and two Mutant as well. So two Archon, two Mutant, two Viper, and a Gatekeeper. This is a very big pod. But you know what? I, th I think it's better that, that we revealed it this way because I, I was getting impatient, number one. But number two, uh, I don't think there would have been a better way to, to engage it because I, I could have engaged with one of my soldiers, but that would I, f I feel like that would have put them in, in more of a risk. And I, I think this is going to work out. So let's, let's see if I can make something happen. But, the, but yeah, the, the last time I was genuinely tipsy, tipsy uh was with that girl that I, I was talking about last time the one that lives in my neighborhood when, when we went on our first date my oh my did i have a lot to drink on that day but it was because she was having a lot to drink and i had to keep up there's, there's this weird there's this weird thing about being a guy if you're if you're on a date and you're drinking with a girl you have to match her level of drinking or it looks like you're trying to do the big r word and it's kind of creepy Right, so if, if she's having a drink, she's like, no, I'll just have water. You've been having water all night. Why are you trying to have such a clear head? It's kind of weird. I don't know. That That's a joke, kind of. That's how I feel, though. But <laughs> that, oh, God, I should cut that out, but I'm not going to. Um, But, yeah, so she, she was drinking a lot, so I was drinking a lot. But it was it was a really fun first date. The relationship that we had, that we ended up having, the, the dating experience that we ended up having was an absolute train wreck. Oh, yeah. But... Our first date and many of the subsequent dates were fantastic, and some of it, not all of it, had to do with the fact that there was, there was alcohol involved. And just w when when you get two sexually active adults in a room, you give them a little bit of chocolate infused margarita. You 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 give them give them all that good stuff. Just 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 things start to come out, and and, and things start to happen. Now, we're going to try and position this flamethrower so that we can burn multiple targets, but it doesn't look like we can. And that's... Okay, we can't get two targets in the flamethrower, which is not... It's not great. It's really not great getting two targets caught in this flamethrower, and the gatekeeper is immune to, to fire. But I think this might be one of the better times that we'll get to use it. So I'm going to blow a charge on an ability finally. We've still got plenty more special abilities to use. And it didn't actually... Okay, it did connect with the Viper. Okay, so we did get the flame damage off. And that's nice. So we got that. And ooh, this is, this is going to be tough. But but yeah, the, the reason our first date went so well... with And, and I'll, I'll tell you the whole story of our first date. It was... It was one of the one of the best dates I've ever had in, uh, in, in my life. I'll be honest. She doesn't listen to this, but even if she did, she'd still be mad at me. But <laughs> uh, and she'd also be a maniac for listening to this. Uh, it, it, I've said this before, but if you date somebody and they do anything creative, never look at it. We're getting another dimensional rift coming out though, and that's going to do big damage to all the targets involved. So we, we we meet up and we go to a vegan restaurant because. I'm not a vegan, but I thought it'd be fun to try vegan soul food with somebody. I've I'd had it before with a friend, and it was it was decent. So I said, "Hey, why not? It's a cool. It's a nice restaurant. Good atmosphere. Why don't we go together?" So we go. The vegan restaurant doesn't have alcoholic beverages, so that's kind of unfortunate. But the food is good. the 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 food was good. The conversation was fun. I, I was I was getting my Rico Suave on. You guys may or may not know what I look like. If you've done any amount of digging on Facebook, you can probably find a picture of me somewhere. I'm not gonna do a face reveal anytime soon. I'll wait till I'm super famous, then I'll do a genuine face reveal. But anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was a really nice day. The conversation was good. I was getting my Rico Suave on. I was putting on the moves. I was uh, I was I was smiling. I was saying all types of nice things. I was doing the sexy laugh. I was like, <laughs> that's so funny. That's not the sexy laugh, but you get the point. You get the point. I was in date mode, and I was having a good time, and she was having a good time. So after we finished dinner, we uh, we decided to, to go to another to a place that actually had drinks, to a, to a nice little bar. And a side note about this lemon arita thing. I, I believe I mentioned the amount of 
ounces it is, but if I didn't, it is 24 ounces, and this, this shit is like 600 calories, and I'm recording this late at night, so holy crap, I'm going to gain a lot of weight tonight, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, we, go, we go to another bar, we get some drinks, and that's when it starts kicking off, she's getting the, the margarita action going on, I'm getting the beers going on, yeah, I, I, it, it, just, it just starts, it starts getting to that level, starts going to that place, and it's a really fun place to be. And for, for better or for worse, I don't know where to move Kevin Kernuckle. I don't want to put him in anything that is even relatively unsafe because he's still got his point of armor and I'm trying to save that. But at the same time, I would like to get him up in the action. Uh, and even our medic, she's... I'm going to move Green Jelly O'Brien up. I usually keep her in the back lines, but yeah, there's potential for some collateral damage here. I'm going to shoot at this canister, and it should explode. Yes, it did explode, did some damage to the mutant. It's, it's, it's a bit unnecessary, but I'll, any damage is nice. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, but you know what? I think I am going to go for the the safer plan and just move Kevin to a, a slightly different position where he may have a proper line of sight and just put him on overwatch. So for better or for worse, even as, as we, we can get to 70 years of age and still feel a certain level of apprehension, again, a little bit of frame rate lag as unfortunate still feel. And it's also unfortunate that the overwatch missed, but Leah Markle's, He's a dead shot. Combat specialist is going to proc, but it is going to miss again. The Berserker providing more mitigation by taking a big swing from the Archon. A lot of Overwatches are going to trigger because of the kill zone that we activated. A shot coming out. The Berserker taking a big burst of damage. Six from the Mutant. The other Mutant is moving outside of the radius of the purple stuff, taking a shot at the Berserker again. Boom, this time it's going to miss. Ooh, this is not the, this is not the shot you want to take. Look at that armor. Seven points of armor. That is a ridiculous amount of mitigation. The Gatekeeper is opening up. I may... No, the Mind Control is going to be on cooldown, so I'm not going to get to take control of it. That healed itself. Shit. Yeah, the, the gatekeeper is a devastating enemy, and we're missing some of our our kill zones right here. Yeah, this is this is getting ugly now. Close combat. It's gonna connect. Did that connect? I couldn't tell. Yeah, that connected. Oh yeah, that connected. Boom! Clocked him in the head anyway. So we're gonna have to blow a med kit finally on Blackjack Carter. That is the second med kit of, of the mission. But so far, we, we've done a, a very fantastic job at keeping our soldiers nice and healthy. That flank could have actually been the end of Blackjack Carter, but we got a little bit lucky. And from the looks of things, all the aliens are going to move out of the way of the purple stuff, so we're not going to get the double damage off. But... Never mind, we are going to get the double damage on one of the Vipers because that thing is stupid. But all in all, a successful turn. So, ooh, there was more stuff inside that radius than I was expecting. I'll take it. I'm happy about that. Uh, you can you can go your whole life and not feel completely free of 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 the chains of of just being a human right w when Whatever you say. when when you when you get up and 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 you go to work you 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 have you you get dressed and you put your best foot forward and you 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 may or may not be significantly attached to the people you work with you may not care about their opinions one way or another but you make sure to look presentable and you make sure to 
to to to to to always say the right things. You don't want to step on anybody's toes. You don't want to do anything that could get you fired. There's so many things that are going through that are that are going through your head. I didn't even look at the screen to confirm if that was a kill because I knew it was going to be a kill because Alfie Green Jelly O'Brien has a stock on her gun, so she was guaranteed to hit that. Um, but yeah, there's so many things that we think about that that act as as sort of sort of restrictions on how f- how mentally free we can be and the more and it, and if you're the type of person that can just be mentally free because you've reached enlightenment and you're just some happy motherfucker good for you i can't do that most people can't do that um, <laughs> so for me I, i'm i'm in a place where in order to feel, and this is, this, is, this is starting to get sad now. It's starting to get sad. But it's not, though. It's not, though. This is just the reality. Boom, 65% chance hit. 18 damage critical. It's not enough to kill, though, because that's XCOM, baby. Uh, so for me, uh, I kind of need a little bit of a drink to get to that. To that place where I could just say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going ham. I'm going for the kiss. I'm I'm gonna act a fool today. I'm gonna say things. I'm gonna become unchained, Rob. And you guys know that is a mixed bag. It could be good. It could be absolutely insane. Um. But but when you just when you just get that little bit of a tingle in your brain saying, you know what? Lemon, lemon Arita thingy is tasting pretty good. Feeling the tingle. Some shenanigans are gonna happen, and it's, and it's a good feeling. And and I'm 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 getting all nostalgic right now. All right, I'll I'll talk you guys through it. This is this is the kind of situation where I know exactly what I want, what I can do. But I don't know if I should do everything that I'm thinking. All right, I've got I've got the capability right now to eliminate both of the Archon, but the Gatekeeper is the primary threat, and I want to deal with that. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to to deal with the Gatekeeper, which is really unfortunate. So what I have to do right now is I have to try and find a way to, or what I would like to do is is tr- find a way to trap the get or to not trap to, to get the gatekeeper caught in an overwatch so what i'll do is i'll move black dragon up put him on overwatch if the gatekeeper moves to my right it's left then it'll get hit with an overwatch but now what i need to do is i need to use kyra ronin i still have the you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna save axe throw because that's that's a clutch ability that could wind up saving the whole mission. So I'm gonna save Axe Throw, I'm gonna use the Bolt Caster shot to take out the Archon. 12 damage to the chest. That oil is not enough to save it. The Archon looks like it has an oily chest. It has abs. And yeah. So we'll finish off the other Archon. We should be able to get line of sight with Dos Santos. If not, shit, I misclicked. It's over, I've screwed myself. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine at the same time. We're going to go for a big play with the commander's avatar. We'll move him into position over here. And we will use the null lance once again to get some big damage on the gatekeeper. Whoosh. 10 damage ignores armor. I... I believe that was worth it. And Kevin Carnacle, we can finally start advancing him. And the Buster Doom Guy Thompson does have a shot on the gatekeeper, but that armor is absolutely ridiculous. And he does not have armor penetrating rounds. But <gasps> right, he has blue screen rounds, so that's why the damage is so high. Whoa! Totally not. I totally forgot. Totally forgot. That is the best outcome we could have had. So yeah, uh, so how do you guys feel about that? Though? If if you are of the age where you can drink Frederick Blackjack Carter, finally getting his shit together, 
close combat specialist going to eliminate the Archon before it can do any blazing pinion shenanigans or try and smack him upside the head. So, so yeah, how, how do you guys feel about drinking? And, and the, the concept is, is that sh- we should all be able to get to this place of being completely free of the of our mental restrictions and, and our and our stresses without the use of a- any external sources like slow motion like uh like mushrooms or, or alcohol or whatever we should all be able to get to this magical place without extra stuff but some of us need the extra stuff and hopefully you don't feel like you need anything too hard like like crack if you feel let me tell you something if you feel like you need crack you don't need crack is is not is never that serious but if you feel like you need heroin you don't need heroin stop it what are you doing that type of stuff is bad for you but no i, I don't know who who am i kidding but what i'm asking is how do you feel about using alcohol to enhance your mood to to make a situation better than it is that is one of the fundamentals of of being an adult it is enhancing the 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 moments that that you live in because they're they're otherwise kind of shitty and i suppose that is going to be the next topic for the day that's not one that i was originally planning on but it seems like we're going in that direction and it's sort of relevant to stuff that i was doing recently so on that note we're gonna take a little break well you guys are gonna take a little break i'm gonna be here continuing along this mission which we are actually getting very close to the end. The final room is is not too far off. So uh, we'll we'll be back uh, we'll be back tomorrow to to keep dealing with these freaking aliens, man. So I'll see you then. <laughs>